All right, so here is the most frequently asked question on social media. How do y'all eat y'all chicken? So you have three options. You have option A, which still leaves chicken on the bone. You have option B, in which the chicken is basically cleaned off the bone, but there is still a whole lot of gristle and fatty parts at the top. And then you have option C, in which the entire bone is cleaned and there is no gristle up here. So now this post actually comes from my friend, Ferran Torres, who definitely can go back, you know what I'm saying, as far as reminiscing back to our elementary days. You know, that's how long we've been friends and we grew up on the same block, the same neighborhood, went to the same school, elementary school, middle school, went to the same high school, and we're still good friends to this very day. Now, he posted this and I immediately had to comment and also, he pretty much answered the post as well. He put B or C, depending how good it is. And honestly, I agree with him. But now here is my other, you know, response to the question as well. Now, it also depends on how it's made, meaning like seasoning and flavors and all of that kind of stuff. And also, who's making it for me, honestly, because me growing up, I was like, you know, a huge picky eater, you know, I couldn't eat like baked macaroni because of like little crust and burnt marks and everything like that. All of that stuff just like got into me and still to this very day, I don't eat ZD and baked mac and lasagna all for those sorts of reasons. But I can honestly eat a pizza and that just makes my sisters mad. And speaking of my sisters, I have five sisters in total, guys four older sisters one younger now my four older sisters they all cook including my mom so you know i have five people who partake in you know spending time in the kitchen and generally during the holidays and you know special events they're all cooking you know and i love all of their cooking you know what i'm saying so when it comes to these options, I would definitely fall somewhere between B and C. Honestly, A is just like you just maybe didn't agree with the chicken or maybe it wasn't prepared right. Maybe it was disgusting or maybe you're just a wasteful piece of shit and this is your option in which you fall in. Now, honestly, just looking at this, it's just like this is ridiculous for you to be leaving this much chicken on a bone. And if it were me... You know, my mom would honestly tell me like, um, excuse me, you're leaving chicken on that bone. You know what I'm saying? Now, she's not saying to honestly do this option right here, but she is saying like finish your food because that's honestly a waste. Like, look at it. There's so much meat on the bone still there. Now, as I said, depending on how it's seasoned, this is where you will fall in option B. Like you ate the meat, but you're not a person that likes to lick the gristle and you know, the fatty parts of the chicken. So yeah, I can fall in between there sometimes, but right here is definitely, you know, 90% of the time where I fall, you know, definitely when it comes to my family, they all cook very, very well. And honestly, mm -mm, fingers licked, the gristle licked and thrown away, the bone licked and thrown away. And there's nothing wrong with that. But according to some females, People would actually quote that, you know, C is very disgusting and you shouldn't be doing that. No, it all depends on how it's made, what it's used, you know, what is used basically when you're making this chicken and who is making the chicken because not everyone on this planet has that gift of cooking. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're a female doesn't mean that you're gifted in cooking in the kitchen. Like, because I can name a couple females that basically... <laughs> you know, not to start anything, but yes, your cooking is not 100%, you know, but with the exclusion of my family in particular, they cook some bomb ass chicken. I just want to say that I enjoy all my sisters and my mother's cooking. And when it comes to me consuming the chicken, yes, you can find these bones right here on my plate at a cookout, at dinner time, <laughs> at the family table, it doesn't matter. These bones would definitely look like this or look something like this. 
Option A is ridiculous. I would never leave a chicken like that. So in the comment section below, let me know how you guys actually eat your chicken. Are you a person that eats your chicken as option A, option B, or option C? And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button at the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one as always.